Hey yo friendos, welcome back to my channel. I promised you guys that I was gonna go through all my favorites and fails from the Hourglass brand. I've currently got their website pulled up on my phone. I'm gonna go through everything that I tried from the brand and give you my thoughts and tell you about my personal experience using all of the Hourglass products. Okay friendos, if you are excited, just stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to start out with the first item that comes up on the website, which is their new Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. Now, if you haven't been a subscriber of mine for long, then you might not know that I've already done a review on this foundation. So if you want to go watch the full review, it's up. It's just a few videos back. This is one of those that for me doesn't really fit in the category of favorite or fail. It's a foundation that I really like. Like I would wear this out to brunch, say I'm meeting my dad for lunch or something or at running errands, I would absolutely wear the foundation and it would look great. The problem, guys, is that I have about 30 to 40 foundations in my collection already and some of them are just out of this world fabulous. So I can't necessarily say that it's a favorite. However, it's a safe bet. So if you're going on the website and you're like, I need to pick a foundation from Hourglass, that's the one to pick. I just feel like it's the safest bet. Okay, so the next thing that's showing up is the Vanish Airbrush Concealer. That one is another favorite for me. I have dark under eye circles. That particular concealer is excellent at covering up the dark circles under the eye. It lasts all day, it doesn't separate, and I'm oily, so a lot of them will. It does crease if I don't set it under my eye, but not terribly. Like I do have some concealers that are just awful if you don't set them. This one is not the case. It still is not for everyone. I'm very oily. If you are dry, a lot of dry people don't like this concealer, but for me, it's definitely a favorite. You just want to know from the average user's standpoint. So I want to start this out with a little bit of a disclaimer. I should have said this before. Most of my viewers I am very thankful for. You guys are super chill and you are very open to hearing someone like me who's not a makeup artist but just a makeup novice talk about their personal experience with certain products. If you hear me name off something that I like that you don't enjoy, please understand that everyone's body chemistry and the way that they apply makeup Makeup is different and the same is true if I didn't like something but you love it if it's working for you girl I'm happy for you just hear my opinion and let it roll so next up is the vanish seamless finish foundation stick I didn't really like that one it looks a little cakey on me I don't really have a lot of wrinkles but I do have a slight forehead wrinkle and this right here definitely settles into that wrinkle it doesn't look good and I'm sure that there's ways to alter that and to offset that but as far as just being able to put down the product, I do have other stick foundations that work better that I don't have to finesse to make work. So that one is more of a fail for me. Next up, we have the Voyeur Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. This is one of those eyeliners that has really grown on me. When I first got it, I wasn't sure that I was going to like it, but I am liking it more and more. I think it's really, really good as an eyeliner that you can put down and then smoke out with a brush. It's just so pretty. It lasts a long time. You don't see weird creases or crumbliness with it. It really does a good job of gliding across the eye. So if you're someone who's a little bit wary of tugging and everything, and maybe you're staying away from eyeliners for that reason, this is one to try. Okay, next up is their latest primer. It's the Vanish Airbrush Primer. I really like that one. I am oily skinned. It does a good job of absorbing the oil and just keeping your makeup on and in place all day. Absolutely a favorite. I don't think I have featured it so far on my channel, but I need to. But yeah, if you have oily skin, give that one a try. It's so good. Next up, we have the Vail Mineral Primer, and that's their oldest primer, but I love that primer, you guys. It's so good with things like texture, fine lines, with any sort of scarring, and it gives your face this nice, very blurred appearance underneath any foundation. Like between the two primers, I'm not sure that I could pick a favorite, but I'm leaning towards it being the Mineral Vail Primer. It's also really good at masking any sort of discoloration, so it sort of like that all around just good primer does what you want it to do primer so next up we have a lot of the face palettes you can't go wrong with any of them they're all fantastic i've tried 90 percent of them i have them in my collection i enjoy them i reach for them all the time you guys know this 
I really don't have anything negative to say about the face palettes. If you do want to hear me talk more in depth about the palettes though, I did purchase all three from the holiday collection this year and that video is now up on my channel so you guys can go check that out. Then we have the blushes. I have a few of the singles. I love them. They are so good. They did go up to $43. I knew they were going to but yeah they are just so pretty. If you are someone with oily skin and pores you don't have to be afraid of these. There's different finishes. They're all gonna look pretty on you. Okay scattered light glitter eyeshadow shadow I have not tried. Then we have the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I have tried this. Now this for me, uh, it's kind of in the fail category. I thought I liked this and then I realized just how oily I looked with it on. So I'm not as into it as I used to be. If you are oily skinned and you don't want that bling and you're a little bit worried about it looking cakey or greasy, this is one that... Kind of can add to that look. However, if you are dry, this is a beautiful powder. Or if you are really looking for that blinkiness and that shine in your powder, if you like the Laura Mercier powder, friendos, you're gonna like this one. This one is a little bit more blingy than Laura Mercier, but side by side, they're kind of hard to tell apart. So if you like one of those, you're gonna like the other. And now moving on, this is where I'm gonna get into a little bit of negativity. So the Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. That is an absolute fail for me. And I know I'm not the only one who hates this mascara. On websites other than Hourglass's own mascara, this does not have the best ratings. Like it doesn't have terrible ratings, but just to be real, I have products from the drugstore that do a much better job than this mascara ever did. Like Telescopic Lynx mascara, if you're looking for that extended look, try that over this because this is $29 and it's just not that good. I noticed a little bit of flaking with this and it didn't make my eyelashes look very long at all. If you like it, girl, you rock it. But for me, Mm -mm. Okay, here's another one that I know has low ratings on other websites. It's the Mechanical Gel Eyeliner. Y'all, you can do so much better. <laughs> For me, this just did not wear very well. And on my tight line, on my water line, it just, it wasn't lasting. And then on top of that, if you're trying to go above the lash line, you know, out of the water line, it's hard to smudge out, but still it doesn't last very long. I don't know what's going on with that eyeliner, but it did not work for me at all. Okay, then the Unreal High Shine Volumizing Lip Gloss. This one is one that I really do like. I have a lot of volumizing lip gloss, so I can't necessarily say that it's my absolute favorite. To be honest, if you're looking for a plumping lip gloss, Luxum is the way to go. That's the one that's going to give you the most amount of volume. I've tested this out on family and friends. Buxom's the way to go. But if you are just looking for a nice non-sticky lip gloss that gives you a little bit of plumping, then you will like this lip gloss. Also the packaging on this is just really, really nice. So if you like that good hourglass packaging and you're looking for a lip gloss, you can't go wrong with this one. Now the Ambient Lighting Finishing Powder. This is pretty, especially under the eyes. However, I don't know why I've never been so thrilled with the setting powder that I wanted to pick it up for $50. So I haven't tried that. Alrighty. So the next one is definitely a miss for a lot of people. But for me, it's one of my absolute favorites. The bottle here is really dirty, but you can tell I'm on my third one now. This is the Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. This requires finessing, okay? And not everyone wants to go through the ritual that I go through to make this work. I pair this with the CEO Glow from Sunday Riley. I mix those two together and then I apply it. This is one that just needs thinning out a lot and it works really, really well with this oil. The finish is just so pretty and I don't have anything like it in my collection that after I put it down, it has the same finish. It almost has this pearlescent rose gold effect on the face. It's so beautiful, it's hard to describe. I've shown it before on my channel. I did a full face last year of Hourglass products, so if you wanna see it in action, you wanna see what I'm talking about, that video is available. But my goodness, people hate this. And and I understand why. If you're not willing to do some foundation finagling, you're not gonna like this. It's gonna come out cakey. It's gonna enunciate pores. You're just not gonna like it. I mean, probably not. I'm not living inside your head, but most likely you're not gonna like it. Okay, the next one is sort of a love-hate relationship with me. It's a hate. 
like an absolute hate was some people they love this so it's the Vell soft focus setting spray for me this left weird residue on my face i don't feel like whatever they're using to spray everything out does a very good job it just comes out in kind of clumps and then on top of that it is very very sparkly dewy which for someone who gets oily and has pores, that's a nightmare. It's not what I'm looking for in a setting spray and it did not make my makeup last longer. I honestly felt like it made the longevity of my makeup go down. So yeah, it's not for me, but a lot of people who are dry, who really like a blingy looking setting spray, they can make it work. You can hold it back farther and kind of miss all the giant particles just coming towards your face, you know, if you're back far, far enough, it kind of dissipates. Or if you wave your hand, that kind of helps the particles to break up in the air. I don't want to have to do all that. I am lazy and I'm oily, so it's just not for me. Okay, the next one is a definite favorite. This is the Confession Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Lipstick. Y'all, it's just a solid, good lipstick. It feels really comfortable on the lips. It's slightly satin. It's got a rich, opaque quality. You guys, again, if you like the Hourglass packaging, if you like the brand and you're looking for a safe bet, definitely the Confession Ultra Slim High Intensity Lipstick is a good one. Next up is the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. This is another fail for me, unfortunately. I, I just don't think that they have their mascara formulation down right. I'm not the only one who feels this way, y'all. On other websites, their mascaras are just not highly rated, not like their other products anyways. And I really can just get better from the drugstore. This one both flaked and bled on me. I don't really have very much nice to say about this, so I'm just gonna move on to the next. That's one that has caution in there for a reason, just avoid it. <laughs> Next, we have the Ambient Lighting Bronzer. You can't go wrong with these guys. These are my favorite powder bronzers. They're just so beautiful, glowy on the skin, but natural, your skin, but better looking bronzers. All right, friendos, we are nearing the end. Next up, we have the Velvet Story Lip Cream. This came out, I believe, earlier this year, and I'm loving those. If you like the Makeup by Mario Cozy Lip Cream, this is very similar. It's slightly more wet, though so it's a little bit more comfortable if you're looking for nourishment, if you're looking for something a little bit more rich and slick. The wear down is really pretty. It doesn't really flake or streak. I like Makeup by Mario a little bit better because it's a little bit more velour and slightly more matte. This one is a little bit more shiny, but it's still a wonderful product and I will be adding more of these to my collection. Okay, next we have the Girl Lip Stylo. It's a nice satin finish as well. It's very comparable to to the Confession Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Lipstick. Like the formulation feels very similar. It's just that the stylo, of course, is like a lip crayon. It goes on very pigmented. It feels really nice on the lips. It's really good at hiding peeling skin. I'm into that one. I'm really into basically all of their lip products. There's really not a bad one. So moving into the next lip product, we have the Opaque Rouge Liquid Lipstick. Y'all know I use that a lot on my channel. It's a very beautiful liquid lipstick. One of my favorite formulations. It's really good at staying put, bringing the opacity, no streakiness. I won't say that it is my absolute most blurring liquid lipstick, but still as far as staying put, it's one of the best. Okay, and now for their eyeshadows. Now their eyeshadows are ridiculous. They are ridiculously expensive. I did have the opportunity to swatch some of the eyeshadows last year. It was either last year or early this year. I was not impressed. They weren't awful or anything, but they really, they weren't good either. They did not appear like they would be good. And for their insane price range, I'm just gonna skip out on that. I already have so many that I love that aren't that expensive. Okay, interestingly enough, you guys, I cannot find their lip liners on their website, so I'm guessing those are discontinued. It's a shame because I really like them. But that concludes everything, you guys. If you want me to go into more detail about any of the products that I mentioned today, you can ask me about it in the comment section down below. I'm happy to give you any information that I have. Let me know what products from Hourglass you've tried. What's your favorites? What did you hate? What did you think was just okay? I always like to hear your insight. So friendos, it's time for me to go break my grandma out of prison. I wish you all a phenomenal rest of your day. I wish you all a phenomenal rest of your day.
breaking my grandma out of prison was a joke. So guys, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I greatly appreciate it. You all are wonderful for doing so, but I need to say goodbye because I've got my grandma's denture collection here in studio and we need to take them all to the car wash to get cleaned. So you guys have a phenomenal rest of your day. I'll catch you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and give me a like and give me a like if you like this video. But should you choose not to subscribe, we we'll both have to live in the sorrow of never knowing what could have been. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great one. Bye. Oh, I know. you've gotten so pretty. You're beautiful. You want to show everyone how beautiful you are? Yeah, we found this cat behind the house. It's kind of feral and mean. <laughs> I'm just playing onions. We know that you're a purebred. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, what a beautiful little girl. Nice chompers. Okay, you can go now. Yeah, guys, Anya and Alexi are both about to celebrate their... feels weird saying one year birthday, but they're both about to turn one. So Alexi's getting a little party next weekend and Anya's will be next month. That's the cat update. <laughs> and other happy news, my sister has found her spoolie. <laughs> Where did you find it?